a wide variety of sports and activities with my kids. Skiing, cycling, yoga, swimming, uh, backpacking. So it's really important to me to get back as quickly as I can to be able to participate in those activities. I would be lying if I said that I had never had a moment of fear where I thought maybe I wasn't going to recover and I don't have any guarantees but it's something you take entirely for granted until you can't do it. And now essentially I'm learning how to walk all over again. And, uh, surprising <laughs> how much is involved and how simple it looks when you watch somebody do it how hard it is to try to do it when your muscles are as weak as mine are. The program uses the same practitioners as if a person was in an inpatient hospital except our treatment model is based on serving people in their natural environment which uses all the things that they're going to use on an everyday basis and wraps the rehabilitation into those tools, those settings, those places. Uh, and the design is that it will be have more durable outcomes, people will learn better, sooner, faster, and it'll be much more practical to their regular lives on an everyday basis, right, as soon as they learn those skills. We're headed to the Bainbridge Island Aquatic Center and going to swim and do some rehabilitation exercises with Carrie, who is one of the physical therapists from Rehab Without Walls. Rehab Without Walls is unique in that we're a little more community-based, so um, most traditional home health would stop at the doorstep of the home, so um, we can go out to the pool, Steve's main goal, and kind of, I think one of his primary um, things is swimming, so getting, getting him back to just participating as a whole. I mean, it's all about getting your own life back, and it's hard to simulate that anywhere else. So um, you can practice as best you can in a hospital, like, okay, we can adjust bed height and try and set up the room, but it's not the same as actually being in your physical home environment, you know, the different surfaces, also distractions. So friends, family, pets, um, lighting. Um, and I think it's just um, you're going to do more the more you get your own life back. So. I, I think that it is a huge advantage to be in the home and then also community because that's what it's all about. We're not meant to just be homebound. It's about, meant to, to get back outside and live your life. Get back to doing what you want to do. It's taken a lot of work and um, I've been very fortunate having made quite a bit of progress. Having essentially no muscle activity in my legs whatsoever to being able to use my legs to stand and walk a little bit. And, at some level, I've always, somewhere, believed that I was going to recover. Been on a steady upward path 